Hello there, I'm Stephanie Smith, an English language and communications trainer at Language Institute Idiom. You are very lucky. Do you know why? Because in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some top secret information. Information that will make you brighter, faster, and even more creative than you thought you already were. We're talking about shortcuts here. <sighs> because who has time to be flipping through dictionaries all day long? So, you learned English in school, you speak quite well, and you understand just about everything you hear on BBC, but you still feel you need to expand your vocabulary, find new words, broaden your world of people, places, and things. That's right, we're talking about nouns here. What is so special or secret about nouns? What differentiates nouns from adjectives, adverbs, or other words? How can you identify a noun if you see one? As in all languages, many, but not all, nouns have certain endings or suffixes that give them away. Which words do you think are nouns from this list? If you chose comment, commitment, vocation, incentive, Supply, awareness, interest, health, witness. You are doing quite well. The words vocal, aware, interested, and healthy are not nouns. These suffixes can help you identify nouns in English. Notice the endings. These are just some common endings that identify nouns. What about these words? Which ones do you think are nouns? Socialism, socialize, advocacy, advocate, what about confront or confrontation? Which criteria did you use to decipher the nouns? Okay, socialize is not a noun. What is it? If you said verb, then you're right. Advocacy and advocate are nouns check out these sentences. Advocacy for subsidized education is supported in certain, but not all, countries. Martin Luther King Jr. was a strong advocate for civil rights. What about confront and confrontation? We need to confront the opposing party with a new campaign. I don't like confrontations. If you don't like confrontations, then perhaps you should rethink your position as a politician. Let's look at the last set of words. Law, lawyer, enter, entry, scholarship, Ship, scholar, scholarly, similarity, difference, different. Both lawyer and law are nouns. A lawyer upholds laws. Enter is a verb and entry is a noun. Please enter the hall through the main entry. Scholar, scholarship, and ship 
are nouns but have very different meanings. The scholar got a scholarship for a trip on a ship. Similarity and difference are nouns, whereas different is not. The similarity between Michael and John is that they both like football. The difference is that Michael likes American football while John prefers European football. Their preferences in each kind of football are different. Can you create nouns yourself? Check out these verbs. To commit, to circulate, to discover. Here are their corresponding nouns. Commitment, circulation, discovery. What about these adjectives? Healthy, aware, artistic. Here are their nouns. Health, awareness, and artist. There are many nouns that seem to stand alone like book, or shelf, or cat, etc. But knowing some of the suffixes common to many nouns can help you expand your vocabulary. Sometimes you may even be able to discover words by simply adding one of the noun suffixes to the end of a verb. Like operate, operation, for example. If you would like to learn more helpful tips in learning English, then contact us at Idiom Language Institute and we'll be happy to share more with you. Thank you very much.